Hi, I'm Adam Ackerley, an R&D engineer at The Scotts Company. Taking care of your lawn includes taking care of your tools. Sure, you can do that any time of the year, but early spring is the best time to make sure everything is ready, before the first use of the season. One of my favorite tools is my spreader. I use it for weed control, feeding, and overseeding. If you use a drop spreader, you'll want to know how to calibrate it correctly due to wear and tear, factory settings, or user modification. So it is necessary to calibrate your spreader before the first use and check it again every spring or it may spread too much or too little product. The first step is to set the micrometer. Put the number in this little window. If you have a Scott's Turf Builder Classic Drop Spreader, adjust the setting to eight. If you have a Scott's AccuGreen Drop Spreader, then adjust the setting to six. If you're unsure about your model, please call our consumer helpline. They are the spreader experts. Now, flip the spreader upside down so you can see the outside of the bottom of the hopper. And the Scott's logo is facing away from you. Let's see if this is now calibrated correctly. With your foot on the control lever, the raised pointer on the shutoff bar located at the bottom of the hopper should align with the bottom of the calibration line, located on the second or third tooth from the center. But if it's under calibrated, you won't see that line. Use a wrench and turn it counterclockwise. If it's over calibrated, the line will be fully exposed. Use a wrench and turn it clockwise. Adjust the screw until the calibration line and the front edge of the shutoff bar meet. Now it's just right. Remember, it's necessary to calibrate your spreader before the first use and check it again every spring where it may spread the incorrect amount of product. For just a few minutes of your time, you can have a beautiful, green, and happy lawn.